And today we are in Frankfurt. I'm so glad I can food guide you in this wonderful city. Welcome back. This video is going to be about the traditional food from Frankfurt. My name is Martha from Cooking the World and uh, we help people who like to eat, travel and cook to find traditional recipes and places to eat traditional food. So today I will show you what and where to eat in this amazing city. I really hope you're going to enjoy Frankfurt's food and drink. Let's get started! The first restaurant that we're going to visit is Kanone Steppe. In Kanone Steppe we would drink great apple wine, eat handcase and of course the most famous grüne Soße, so the green sauce. Apple wine is a Frankfurt speciality similar to cider. I say similar because it's not sparkling. Hand cheese, so hand case, is a sour milk cheese served with raw onion sauce. And it's certainly not everybody's thing. But if you are brave enough and you're gonna try it, I really hope that you're gonna end up on the love side. The hand case is served only with a knife, for whatever reason. But I don't care what they say and I'm gonna eat it with a fork as well. I hope nobody was watching because obviously in Germany you're gonna get told off if you're not doing things properly. If you don't believe me, try to ride a bike on the wrong side of the road. It's definitely not gonna take three minutes until somebody tells you that you don't belong here. But coming back to hand cheese, you can also mention if you would like to have it with a caraway seeds or not. I can recommend it. They give the dish very nice taste. The next dish that I went for, it's the Frankfurt famous green sauce. The green sauce contains seven herbs. Chives, parsley, borage, chervil, cress, sorrel and burnet. The Frankfurter don't know where the green sauce came from, but certainly it wasn't invented by Goethe's mother. And I don't know why I get so angry when somebody says that. But anyway, the green sauce is served cold with boiled potatoes and eggs. You can also get a schnitzel version, which is highly recommended. And now my favorite, Nispischen. Nispischen is a drink made out of uh, Calvados, so apple brandy, and Medler, which is the fruit inside. It's a digestive, so it's great after the meal. The next restaurant where I'm taking you, it's called Ace. In Achel, I was going to get boiled pork shoulder, but I went for the grilled one. And of course, I went for the hand cheese because there is nothing wrong with it to have something stinky before your meal. This time I behaved. I ate my hand cheese only with a knife, after getting told off for using a fork the last time. But now, let me introduce you to this beauty. This is Schäufelchen, cured pork shoulder that I have ordered grilled and it was amazing but less traditional. I didn't know but they did put barbecue sauce on the top, it was very surprising. The color of it was perfect, look at this pink. I don't know, am I the only one who can get so excited about the color of the food? The meat was amazing, juicy and soft. And the last restaurant that I have visited is called Zungemalden House. Here I have ordered apple juice, Rippchen mit Kraut and Frankfurt sausage. Rippchen mit Kraut is pork loin rib with cabbage which is simmered without boiling with soup greens, bacon, onions, pickled cabbage and various spices for about 2 hours at 80 degrees. The meat is tender and soft and the pickled cabbage is amazing having soaked up all the flavors. You can eat your ribchen with a mustard on the side. And the next beauty is the Frankfurt sausage that is also served with pickled cabbage. 
Frankfurt sausage was already mentioned in the 16th century and now has a protected geographical status here in Germany. So it's not any boiled sausage. The sausage isn't even boiled and it's not served as a hot dog. Have it with a pickled cabbage, you're gonna love it. There is also another sausage, the most popular sausage in Frankfurt called beef sausage, Rindswurst, that you have to eat on your trip here. Go to the sausage video that I've created two weeks ago and have a look where you can find it here in Frankfurt. I will put the link to that video down below. And this is the last speciality, I've got something for your sweet tooth and it's Frankfurt crown cake. Frankfurter Kranz, that's the name in German, is a sponge cake with a buttercream icing, red jam, brittle, made from almonds, and it is pretty heavy, but delicious. In the times of the Holy Roman Empire, their emperors were crowned in Frankfurt, and this cake is a reminiscent of those times. Oh yeah, that's how the heaven tastes like. And now we came to the end of the Frankfurt Specialities video. And if you are interested in the Frankfurt cuisine, we organize food tours where we show our favorite restaurants and the traditional dishes. In case you are interested, I left the link down below. I really hope you did enjoy this video and who knows, maybe we'll see each other on the food tour.